Welcome back. In this part 8 of this tutorial, we will be uh, working on the logic to save this uh, post form and also we will be uh, displaying all the post in the post section and also we will work to display some notification messages to the admin. Okay, so first of all, we'll work on the notification part and we'll also need few global variables okay so i'm going to install a package here known as flash okay i'll store that in a constant here so you can use npm install flash and that will install the package here i'll install it using my ide's inbuilt feature and while it's doing so i'll go to my configuration section here and i'll create a new entry the name global variables okay this will work as a middleware request response next and these variables will be available to us throughout the project anywhere in any any of the files okay so the first one I will use rest.locals object here to define the to define my own custom variable so the first one will be a success message this will use the flash uh, middleware using using the request object so whenever you install flash it gives you this dot flash method and it attaches it to the request object okay and I'll pass it as a success message not then I need a error message and error message I'll change it to error okay so these two as of now will be my global variables and in the end I have to use the next method don't forget to use that otherwise it will be, your application will stuck in the app.js we have this flash I have to call it okay so I'll call it after uh, let's say express I believe this also needs the session so let's install it as session and I'll require express session session dot sessions this is the package name I'll install this as well okay so while it's installing I'll put a comment here flash and session okay so app dot use session and it takes a JavaScript object to define its configuration the first parameter will be to use a secret and then use any secret here any secret in a in a string format okay then save uninitialized should be set to true or you can set it to false so this this uh, checks if there is any modification or not and it saves the session so if you set it to true it will save the session even if there is no modification so I'll do that the third parameter will be resave set to true and then I need to use my flash app dot use flash module okay like this simple with, with this in place uh, what I want so if I go back to my admin controller I send submit the post and here I believe I need to use my post model I'll import that here require uh, models post model and I'll uh, use the post uh, object here okay so I'll get the data here 
in this request object that will be stored in the body so I'll store everything in a in a, in a, in a variable let's say new post I'm not doing any validation as of now okay this post model has got a title I believe let's check that uh, if I open the post model we have a title status description and creation date so title will be my request dot body dot title and this dot title is getting fetched from the name that we defined here okay so make sure it matches this name value next will be my description this oops so description request dot body dot description and the status will be request dot body dot status and I can leave the creation date because that will be by default set to today's date and in order to save this post what I can do I can use the save method on this new post uh, object and this will return a promise which which will for that I have to use a then method and it will give me a post after it's saved and I can simply console console dot lock this post okay let's try this and once it is done I'll redirect the user to the admin post section and also I'll I'll use a flash message with the success message uh, key and the message will be post created successfully okay so now what I want I want to display this message so where should we display it we can display it in the layout just above the body here I'll create a partial that will be admin messages okay and as you know we have to go here and create a new partial will be my handlebar file messages and inside this messages folder or file I'll write a code to display my messages okay for success I'll use the div with a class alert alert success it will be in green background also use alert dismissible so you can close it fade show and margin top 2 also give a role of alert okay so I'll use a strong tag here that will be my uh, messages or rather success underscore message so if you remember this is coming from our uh, global variables we go back to global variable configuration so we defined this global variable here okay oh we did not use it rather so we have to use it also so app dot use global variables and we haven't defined it okay so my ID helped me a lot and it imported this global variables from the config configuration file properly 
I'm seeing some issues here. Oh, const global variable, and use the required statement here. Statement here, not the uh, sorry. Give me a sec. My ID is not responding somehow. Okay. Here back config then configuration. Save it. Okay, we are back in business. So we have this these variables uh, in use now, and I can go back to the admin handlebars or the messages handlebars. Okay, then I'll have a close button, button type button and class will be close this is a bootstrap class and I'll use the data dot this miss attribute this is the alert and area label as close in a span tag I'll have the cross symbol okay this is the HTML notation uh, area hidden true okay. all right so with this uh, I have to put a if check here because I don't want to display this all the time I will only want to display this if a success message is there okay like that and I'll copy this I'll also have a error statement here error message here error message and the success class will be converted into a danger class which will give me a red background okay perfect so with this in place if I go back to my form here and refresh you see it's always there uh, let's put this on our index page okay which will be my uh, okay so it's there the admin messages Okay, this looks good to me. Okay, so if I put a title status, okay, so fix this allow comments, but I'll go, I'll do, I'll go back to the create form, and I think I used a form control here, so this should be form check input this is a new class in bootstrap 4 to close it and refresh it okay <clears throat> so now you have you have it in line okay so enter a title public allow comments and test sends me back to all posts here okay which is fine so if I go to the controller okay, this is the uh, function it should take me to admin index okay rest dot render or it should take me to admin post index rather render admin post index okay cool so go back why am i getting this all the time so if i go back to messages where is it messages
success message is there then only it should display and I don't have a success message yet so, so if I go back to the form create a post I still have it don't need it we'll work on this later let's test the redirection it's not working hmm. we are getting this uh, divs but we are not seeing any messages so create a method here success message should have that uh, <clears throat> message inside it when we create it just a name uh, success message yep and error message We're using flash using sessions what else oh I believe uh, the package is known as connect flash not flash okay my bad so let's try this after the package is installed I go back yep new post test public test perfect so it was the package name that was not correct so make sure you're, you're using connect flash and not flash so these are two different packages I did not notice this uh, name earlier sorry for that and if you want to center this what you can do you can definitely go here and wrap everything in a container here okay. like this okay, now if you go back to your post test 2 public test 2 or test 2 let's enter now and it will not disappear we have to use a bit of Java uh, jQuery to hide it automatically otherwise you can always go ahead and close this from here perfect so if you go to your database I'll use the compass here mongodb compass edition so you'll notice we'll have two posts in your database now let's see that and I changed my database name to uh, tutorial underscore CMS just for information so go here give it a minute to load it takes a bit of time initially but once loaded it will work faster okay okay so we have the compass ready I'm gonna connect now I should have a tutorial CMS here and inside that I have the post document post collection and I have so many posts created here okay in the next part we will see how we can display all these posts in a tabular form or on this page on this admin post page here okay so I hope you're enjoying this tutorial if you have any suggestions or comments please leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next chapter Till then, thank you and bye-bye.